this method, this is the first method. First method. Which then we we'll now try the second method. We'll break this system to the simplest form in module 5. This seven to the simplest form in module 5. To remove this ambiguity of like numbers. That will be six, 16 and 7 modulo 5. Now take each number. 16 modulo 5 is equal to 5 times 3, which is 15 plus 1, making some 16, which means 16 is equal to 1 modulo 5. Let's take our 7. 7 modulo 5, which is the same thing as 5 times 1 plus 2, which is equal to 2 modulo 5. We now take these figures. What we are interested in is this and this. Hmm? We are interested in this. I think this is our one. Mm -hmm. And these are two because they are already in module five. Now, what we now do is just that we just say that sixteen times seven times seven module five is equals to one times two module. Five, which is equal to 2, and uh, 1 times 2 is 2, modulo 5. Here, yeah, in this second method, uh, in this second method, there is no ambiguity of figures. We are not dealing with big, big figures. Now, we now treat this example B, which is text on 1 times 15 modulo 7. Let's break the numbers down to remove ambiguity. Because if you have to do this in a jump uh, condition, you might be in need of pressing calculator. So we just do this state 1 modulo 7 is equal to 7 times 4. 7 times 4 is 28. That's 1 minus 28 is 3 plus 3. Then 15. That is equal to 3 modulo 7. Then 15 modulo 7 is equal to 7 times 2 plus 1. Hmm? Which means our 15 is equal to 1. Modulo 7. You can conveniently now say that our uh, 31 times 15 modulo 7 uh, is equal to 3 times 1 modulo 7, which is equal to 3. 3 times 1 is 3, modulo 7. Okay, for our C, that will be 21 times 18, modulo 10. That will be, you now take each of these numbers and then reduce them to modulo 10. That will be 21, modulo 10, 21. We may also 10 times. Mind you, this one ought not to be there. That will be 10 times 2 plus 1. Then 21 is equal to 1 modulo 10. Then for this 18, that will be 18 is equal to 
10 times 1 plus 8 is equal to 8 modulo 10. We will now take this and then this. That will be 21 times 18 modulo, modulo 10 is equal to what? That will be equal to 1 times 8 modulo 10 which is equal to 8 modulo 10 very very simple then we now go to the last one under this question which is our D that's 8 times 27 modulo 3 modulo 3 that will be let's reduce 8 to modulo 3 that will be 3 times 2 which is 6 8 minus 6 is 2 which is equal to 2 modulo 3. Our 27 is equal to 3 times 7. No, 3 times 9. 3 times 9 plus 0, which is equal to 0 modulo 3. Now our 8 times 27 will now be equals modulo 3 will now be equals to 2 that is this times 0 modulo 3 which is equals to 0 modulo 3 very very simple provided that we we'll follow the normal steps and once we follow the normal steps, we get our answers naturally. Question number 12, which is, which is a wild question on multiplication. The copy and complete the following table for multiplication in modulo 11 using the table to evaluate 1. Um, we have to ev evaluate 9 times 5. Uh, let's first draw a table. A table goes like this. It's multiplication. multiplication and then we are having 1, 5, 9 and 10 1, 5, 9 and 10 Mind you, this modulo is modulo 11. Mod 11. And then we are asked to evaluate um, evaluate right, so I evaluate 9 times 10, 9 times 5 9 times 5 hmm? This Multiplication of two brackets. That's 10 times 10. And 10 times 10. Then 2. You have to find the true set of find the true set of of A 
10 times m is equal to 2 and b that's a n times n is equal to 4 n times n n times n is equal to 4 now for us to do this we must fill the table for us to solve this so we have to fill the table mind you we are working in module 11 once a number is not up to 11 we don't have to we just write the answers directly mind you this is our first number this is our second number let's put it there first number first number Second number. Number. One is one is one, not two. One is five. Five. One and nine is nine. One is ten is ten. Five times one is five is five. Five times five is twenty-five. Which is more than eleven. That means we have multiples of eleven. Five times five is twenty-five. Now multiples of eleven. That's eleven times two. That's 22. 25 minus 22. That's 3. That means 25 divided by 11 is 2 remainder. 3. 5 times 9 is 45. And that's 45 divided by 11 is 4 remainder 1. 5 times 10 is uh, 50. 15 divided by 11 is 4, we mean that 6. That is, 11 times 4 is 44, 15 minus 44 is 6. 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 5 is 45, 45 divided by 11 is 4, we mean the 1. 9 times 9 is it's 1, it's 1. Now it's 1 divided by 11. Is a dozen seven. That's seven. It's one minus seven to seven. 